Welcome back to the internet. I'm your host, Magic the Gathering Online, and here we're doing a Frank Lepore draft on Innistrad. I don't know if that means anything. I'm going to take this fight with fire. I think it's better than Quende. And we're not, we're, we just, we've been done doing a lot of red. We've been done doing a lot of red. I'm going to blink with an eye. Blink with an eye? Blink of an eye is also pretty good. I think Fight with Fire is probably better than Chain Whirler. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, Chain Whirler is much harder to cast. Fight with Fire actually has one... Like, you just win a game. You're just like, I'll fight with Fire. Plus, like, you can replicate the Chain Whirler abilities in other cards, like Radiant Lightning. So, I'm not super high. I mean, I'm high. Don't get me wrong. I'm very high on Chain Whirler. But I'm... I think this card is just more versatile. This is also like a nine... I mean, nine mana is a lot. Don't get me wrong. But this format does not have a problem going to nine mana. I want to take Goblin Barrage because it's just a nice follow-up to the fight with Fire. Keldon, uh, Keldon 3-4 guy was also... Hmm. 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 What are you clipping? What happened? I'm not passing anything anything too crazy, and that definitely aided in this choice. Like we could definitely be uh, green splashing, like four color green. Um, like the problem is that there's nothing in this pack that's very good. Being able to recast all your spells from your graveyard is just pretty much insane. Well, your permanents anyway. So, um, yeah, it's probably Journey Mage here. Champion is nuts with equipment. It's also good with auras. I actually, I I think Champion is fine. I don't think it's Yargle by any means. Yeah, we're going to take Champion. Like, we're not necessarily Muldrotha. I just wanted to take it because I think it's... I, I think... So the upside of taking Muldrotha in that pack is so much higher than whatever we're passing. So, I, I just didn't feel like it was a downside. Uh, we can take a Joyrus Familiar here. It's actually pretty good. If we play the Muldrotha, it's a lot. I think Joyrus Familiar is significantly better than Keldon Overseer, so I'm gonna take the Familiar. <sighs> Nothing great in this pack. I actually kind of like Curator's Ward on Champion of the Flame. That's pretty good, right? Make it hexproof. I mean, if it dies, like, you don't draw the cards. Yeah, I'm going to try the Ward out. We haven't actually played Ward before. Arcane Flight seems good. What if we can get multiple champions? There's also Valduck. All right, our deck seems okay right now. I've never played Ward before, but I think if, if we can actually, we can also put on Jorah's Familiar and just chump block with it, and it's basically just a divination. So, Coldwater Snapper with Arcane Flight is pretty good. So, we'll take that guy. The two mana, the two mana 2 2 is also just fine. I don't, I don't really, I think that guy's super playable, so. Monster, I also worry about that every single time I draft, but the, the difference here is that uh, I feel like we're at least like the cards in our deck are good right now, so I'm not too concerned with that. Uh, Blood Tallow Candle is good. I don't like Rampaging Cyclops very much. I'll take the candle. Candle is... I'll, I'll, I'll very, very frequently just play... I'll play a candle. Precognition Field or Keldon Raider? Probably Keldon Raider. This doesn't feel like a Relic Runner deck yet. And I always like having a Raider. <coughs> Let's take Warcry Phoenix here. Alright, now we'll take the Cyclops. Fine. Hmm. 
Cyclops is just a four mana two four. I I agree with you completely. It's very bad. I guess it's a it's also a four four defender. So that's good. Kerwit, five sweaty hot bucks. Kerwit, you have been you have a uh, un, you are undoubtedly my most consistent donator, my friend. Uh, blink of an eye seems good here. I like Chronicler as well. We can get back a fight with fire. Fight with fire into Chronicler into fight with fire is 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 game winning. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I think our odds of getting a Chronicler later is higher than our odds of getting another blink. And I'd always rather play a blink than than a Chronicler. So we actually could put Arcane Flight on the the rampaging Cyclops. That's actually not terrible. Yeah, we'll take the blink here. I think our deck seems good so far. Uh, it's probably just Academy Drake, right? It's not Warlord's Fury. I don't, I don't think it's... Academy Drake's better than Syncopate. Yeah, just take Drake. That's a pretty easy pick. Haphazard and Bombard. Oh, Valduck is actually exactly what we're looking for here. Uh, especially with Curator's Ward. Oh, that seems sick, dude. Alright, we're taking the Valduck. Valduck is exactly what we wanted. Hopefully we got a Frenzied Rage on the way back. Uh, Jousting Lance. Also, just fine with Champion and Valduck. Yeah, that's a late slime foot, though. Double Valduck. All right, now we know we're doing. Now we know everything's going our way. <clears throat> Two Valducks is better than one. Unless you draw them in the same hand, in which case, that's just sad. Got the old Double Duck Man. Oh, well, this pack's pretty bad. I might just take the shield of the realm just for the just for just for the sake of having it, because we have champion Valduck Valduck. I don't know if we'd play it. Probably not. <clears throat> but it's likely better than any alternative. So. Oh, double ward. With double Valduck and a champion, Ward seems insane here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, let's take a Guardians here. Nothing great in this pack. <clears throat> Well, Drotha is looking pretty lonely in the sideward. I'm actually going to bring the Cyclops in now that we have... Uh, uh, Arcanist is fine. Arcanist lets, our, lets us play fight, fight with Fire a lot earlier. And by a lot, I mean one turn, but that's still... Lich's Mastery. I'm going to take every... Uh, I'm going to take every Lich's Mastery I see from here on out. We're going to get a Lich's Mastery collection and see how many we can come across. <coughs> Frenzied Rage did come back. That's actually pretty sweet. All right. Our deck looks insane now. That's playable. Ooh. 
Fight with Fire number two. Wow, that's pretty good. I like it better than Shivan Fire or Radiant Lightning. I think the uh, I mean the the downside of not being able to uh, cast it for one or at instant speed is high. But uh, the upside of kicking it is literally just uh, just ridiculous. Also, I imagine something's going to come back from this pack. Either probably Radiant Lightning or Gitu Chronicler. I also think it's, it might be better than... We could have the double area deck. That's aerial deck. That's pretty insane. I'm actually... Someone's getting past two aerials. That's pretty ridiculous. I hope that they enjoy that. None of these cards are great for us. Like, we're not going to play two snappers. Uh, we could just take Drake. Get that hot wand action? I don't even know what you're saying right now. I would never take... There were like four cards I would take over that wand, but... I do appreciate your wand input. I'm just going to take this. We're not going to play second Drake right now. No, I'm not. That's stupid. We'll take a Drake. Oh, Cloud Reader Sphinx. All right, that's pretty good. Oh, Fire Fist add up? What's our wizard count at? Not high, right? Shamans... Yeah, our wizard count's like one right now. We don't have a wizard deck. We can just take the Cloud Reader Sphinx. Because Guardians of Coilos ain't doing this. Ooh, Journey Mage. Oh my god, Fight with Fire number three. Ooh, boy. Is it Journey Mage? It's got to be Journey Mage, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's Journey Mage. We don't need a third fight with Fire. Skizik is pretty aggressive. I don't know if we're going to play it, but I think it's the best card in this pack for us. So I like having a Syncopate. Yeah, I think Syncopate's better than the Goblin. Uh, I'm going to take this Radiant Lightning for the sideboard. <clears throat> this deck looks pretty good. That's a late deep freeze that will probably 1,000% play in this deck. All right, cool. Now we just have to find a thing to cut. Oh, oh, the Gitsu Chronicler came back. All right, this deck is, this deck has gone into, uh, gone into overdrive. Oh, Warcry Phoenix kind of sucks. Um, Arcanist is not great. It's one of our cheaper spells though. It's, we can probably take Cyclops out. Blink of an eye will probably go in the four spot. Does Jorah's Familiar actually do a lot for us? <clears throat> Arcanist makes Academy Journey Mage cheaper, Blink of an Eye cheaper. Both fight with fires cheaper. And that's pretty relevant. All those are pretty relevant. Uh, we're not playing Deep Freeze over fight with fire. We're just playing both. I mean, ideally, I want Fight with Fire to go to their face, so. <clears throat> yeah, this deck seems amazing. I don't think Joy Smiller. I mean, it makes these two, this, and this cheaper. I think that's pretty much it. Chronicler number two came back as well. All right, well, that's a thing, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, Fervent Strike's not terrible.
All right, we're going to take out you. And we're going to put back in... It might have been Cyclops. Maybe it's Skizik. Yeah, I don't care about having a 2 2. Like, this is just a 2 2 flyer, though. Like, no, we have Academy Drake. We got Academy Drake, Clatter Sphinx. We also have Arcane Flight. We also have a ton of removal. I don't know why we care about flying. We got a bunch of stuff that, that does that, that emulates that. Um, you're going to go here. You're also going to go here. You're going to go here. <clears throat> I think it might just be Cyclops, just because we can put the thing on. He's just a good blocker. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, look at these lands. Huh. It's like it was meant to be. Syncopate's also an option. We have 11 creatures, though. I definitely want a creature here. I think it's Cyclops. Yeah, I think this deck looks sweet. We got Frenzy Rage, Arcane Flight, Jousting Lance, Double Curator's Ward. So... Yeah, this is this is sweet. Eight nine. Looks good. All right, cool. <clears throat> Let's do it. This deck looks great. I will play first. I will keep this hand because this has all the things we want. Chronic what's chronic? Chronicler? What is that? Is that a card? What's the card you're what's the card you're referring to? We can't answer big bigs? I mean we have double fight with fire and a deep freeze, and we have a blink. If we can't answer big bigs, then we might be we might have different opinions of the cards that we're that we're playing here. Also, ideally, we're going to be killing them before their big bigs come out. Fungal infection on your little guy. Give me that curator's ward. That wasn't it. Why would you do this to me? <clears throat> we're going to be kicking fight with fire all day. All day. Cold snapper is also a pretty big big. Oh, I see. Oh, that's pretty good. This is how we died. Wow, that was good, Hunts. Oh, it's oh, it's creepy Mike B. <laughs> creepy old creepy B over here. I was trying to be quiet. Yeah, and then Hunter, did did you hit this the thing or the, did oh, Hunter? Hunter. <clears throat> of course it was. I will discard a uh, one of these jobbies. Oh, next turn's going to be good, boys. Oh, look. It's the dirtiest of Mitches. Oh, I gotta fix my microphone. How do you know my nickname? What, Dirty Mitch? Yeah. Yeah, DM? Yeah. That's what they say. They're like, keep it on the DM, the Dirty hey, Mitch. The DMs. Uh, I'd rather have a Cyclops than a second Gitu Chronic. What are my favorite flavor of water? I enjoy a crisp San Pellegrino. Is that a flavor of water? That just sounds like. That's a wine. <laughs> Yeah, that, I think that is. Isn't that a wine? Because I'm yes, thinking it of. Is. I mean, you can Google it. But I'm thinking of wine. Perrier. Yeah, Perrier is. That's, a, that's sparkling just a, water. Yeah. 
And by sparkling, they just mean they carbonated it. But it sparkles now. It's like a gem. No, man, there's glitter in it. It's like a beautiful diamond. Oh, wow. Ketchup packet or GCFO. Jeez. Yeah, man. I don't know why you didn't commit to that ketchup packet, buddy. It's still in the fridge. I put it in the fridge for you. Oh, thanks. Keeping it nice and cool? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you cold boy. Does this deck got Jai's Immolating Inferno in it? No, we have two of these, though. So hopefully we can just kick them twice and kill them. From oh. 20. Yeah, that works. Boy, I know Those it. Those cost 10 mana, though. I don't care about so all that. So it's just like Urza's Rage. You're just like Urza's Rage. <clears throat> Uh, yes, it's like Urza's Rage, but, uh, when you kick it, it costs one less instead of, it doesn't Urza's Rage cost, doesn't Urza's Rage cost like 12? No, that was 10. I think it might be 10. Uh, 8, 9, no, it's 9 to kick and then 3 to, so it's 12. Oh. And it deals 10. This also deals 10, but you can divide it up into like, you know, 3, 2, oh, 1, really? 1, 0, yeah. It's much better. Divide it any, among any number of targets if you kick it. So, it's pretty good. Today's Mike B stream brought to you by MRSA. <laughs> yeah, Mike actually got out of work early because there was a MRSA scare. Was there? Is it just at your work or is that just a thing just in general? The, just the training uh, room because, like, apparently um, they're like, yeah, we're going to have an HR meeting. It's nothing scary. And we're like, okay. And she comes in and she's like, yeah. One it's of a your, little more scary now. One of your classmates has been absent for a couple of days. You might have noticed because it's MRSA. So they want to clean it, like, the whole room down. It's MRSA. <laughs> So this is either a really good thing or else I'm going to get MRSA and it's bad. So there's that. Christ. Well, hopefully if you like have to call in because you get MRSA, I hope they'll understand. Especially because they literally let you... Everyone has MRSA. Everyone has it, bro. Don't even worry. What are you worried about? I'm not too worried about what it. What problem is? Although it is possible that person is someone who's sitting next to me because they've been out a while. But I don't know if it's that person or someone else. Yeah, but they're out, so it's good. Also... I didn't touch that person. It's though. like it's like what Ja Rule says, you know? It's MRSA. <laughs> it's MRSA. <laughs> oh, what are you taking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I guess we'll just take nine here. Casual nine. This game's hard. Hunter, stop licking, dude. Literally she, always she starts was, well, every single time. He got dumped from outside, so he had to. I'm not blocking any of these dudes. You have to go outside, take a boop, get a little look on. That's what he does. Did you take a boop when you were outside? No, I didn't. Well, you're missing out, man. That boop is where you want to be. Wow, wild onslaught too, huh? That's a lot of damage. You're not wrong. And they have vigilance. Look how cute that is. Yeah, I think we're just dead here. Song man. of Frailies is a heck of a card. All right, Radiant Lightning, you can come on in. <clears throat> come on in, Radiant Lightning. Hmm. I, I don't know how to answer that. Might be, are you son? Who's yous? And maybe. Probably. Who, who could tell? Who knows how sons work? I will play first. All right, let's try this again with less creatures and more enchantments, I guess. Familiar? What's familiar? Oh, Jorga's familiar? Why would we... Wait, why would we bring either of those in? Just to get two damage in? Like, if they swing for nine after a song and we get to attack... For, like, we had Drake. We just didn't even play it. Like, I don't, we don't need two, a 2-2 two -two flyer in, against them. What we need is a way to get damage through that's more than two. And we had it, like we 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 can we can do. I wish we had a creature that was able to be played before turn. But then we got Snappy and Crappy. Who's Crappy? The Rage card. Oh, put Snappy the, and Crappy. I got the Crappy it. on the Snappy. <clears throat> Speaking of Crappy, am I right? Sure. Okay. Well, that's good. It's good to be right. Did I just kill this guy? Meh. Well, I did it anyway. I don't think we have any goblins in our deck, so... I don't think there's... Oh, we do have artifacts, right? Yeah, well, I guess we could have sacked a, uh, an artifact later. 
at some later point to, to deal an extra four. We have a lot of burn if we can get to like nine million mana. Baloth Gorger. Really? Why don't you just play Turtle? Because it costs six. Oh. And I have five. Oh, I thought that card was way better. I thought that card cost four. You thought this was a... F you, th you thought this guy cost four? Yeah. Why wouldn't I have just played that last turn? I don't know. I was confused why he didn't. And now I know huh. why. Yeah, the turtle's not as good as I thought he was. That's what I say about you. Whatever. They get a free attack. They get a broken bond. And, uh, and then we get a four or five turtle. Big turts. What, are you wiping your, your schmutz off your clothes? Yes. That is what I was doing. Well, congratulations, Michael Schmutzberger. Thank you. How good do you think a 4-5 for 4 with Hexproof is in any format? Probably that would be constructible. Good. I don't know if that's constructed worthy. Really? Maybe. I feel like creatures that don't have an ETB trigger or aren't super aggro are just not great in standard. His ETB trigger is never dying. <laughs> It's, he has an ability that says when this enters the battlefield, it never dies. What does Dead May Never Die? That's a, good, that's a good show. That's a shitty house, but it's a good show. True. Oh. Oh. That's a lot of damage. Oh, boy. This is 11, and then next turn, Turtle deals a million by itself. Oh, I am Valley Man. I'll say. <laughs> oh, just beautiful. Valley Man, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. Oh, you're going to seal away. What are you going to seal away? away? Oh, you sealed away my 3 1. Seems fine. It's rude, man. It's a, would you say it's a rude boy? Yes. I okay. would say that. It is now. He's not in range of the kicker spell. Dang it. Yeah, we'll get there. So if we draw land, land, next time we can attack for 6. Well, I guess we just attack for 6 both times anyway. Okay, well, that's. Yeah, they're going to play song now. Let me sing you the song of my gorger people. No, well, fight won't finish them off yet because, oh my god. <laughs> of course they have it. All right, we're one land away. It's not even worth attacking, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Why wouldn't it be? They got a double block. Gets two guys off the board. I don't think they're going to. Oh. Huh? Well, call me Sally. Well, if they don't, then, like, next turn they die with Fight to Fire, so... Fight yeah, with but they fire. don't know that, necessarily. Right, but I'm saying, like, either they block and we get two guys off the board, or they don't block and they're in oh, fire sure. range. So, like, there's no there's no situation where it's not correct to attack, you know? Okay. I think the Mercer's getting to your brain. <laughs> that would be fatal. Oh, a Yargle. That's a little scary. That guy's coming to Bargle. Yargo's bargled, but they don't fall down. <laughs> well, we're fine. If we if we draw one more land, we can actually kill their whole board and uh, still deal a point to the face. Let's do that. Come on, land. It's so bad. That's a really bad draw. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that actually just kills us. Fight is a, a sorcery. Here, I'll do this. Now you know. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, boy. Uh, you can't split it up if unless you kick it. So, just something to keep in mind. It's Did nine. Trample. It's nine to else. kick. It's a sorcery. You can't split it if, it's, if you don't kick it. There you go. Covered all the bases. problem is they can just easily take six here oh yeah can we are we dead either way i don't know so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's like 22 damage because <laughs> of the stupid yargle well if we play this guy and block the yargle what do we take five we can block here we take three Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we die. Yeah. 
So we actually have to kill something this turn. Which is unfortunate. <clears throat> they have no cards in hand, though. I wanted to keep the fight with fire, because if they actually alpha here, we get to win. If we draw land. Yeah, so like even if we get rid of those, both these guys, we block, block. Um, the life gain is irrelevant if we can't get... Uh, if we can't, if we don't have a fight with fire. <clears throat> yes, they do get vigilance, trample, and something else, right? One, one mana. One mana away. And then we could have actually went six to your face, three, and then one. Because you can't block with this guy because of the menace. And, uh... Yeah, we'll get rid of Yargle. The reason I'm getting rid of Yargle is because we can profitably ball block both of these guys with the Cold Water Snapper, and we can't do that with something else. So, Block, block, take four. All right, we're still alive, and they're in top deck mode. So, oh, They're also indestructible. That's the other mode. Yeah, well, yeah, this turn's going to be miserable for us. When you draw Song of Frailies every single game, it's... Uh, yeah, that card's pretty good. It's pretty insane. You get... No real reason not to ever attack. Oh, trample. Yep, good point. Forgot about the trample. Sorry, I I remembered the vigilance and the and the indestructible. I just forgot about the trample. Yeah, it's not gonna do it. All right. Well, our deck is great, but unfortunately, Song of Frailies is better. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. The card seems pretty busted. How'd you lose? Did you have a real good back and forth game where you played stuff and then your opponent played stuff and then you had to make really tough decisions? Uh, no, they just had, they played Song of Frailies. Oh, like, okay. They had three creatures and they played Song of Frailies. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I can understand that. Makes sense. Look, I cleaned up my keyboard. Look how, look how fucking... Looks pretty pristine. This looks like it's brand new now. I also got... I switched out the webcam. It's the old is it an upgrade? No, it's, oh, it's the downgrade. Really? I had the C922, uh, which is the next model up. But I don't know if you've noticed this. Every time I restart, I have to go in and like change the settings. Yeah, I've noticed that. It it doesn't have a feature. It's also a, Logitech claims that that's a feature, not a bug. The the classic um, oh, really? wow. that whenever you restart your computer, your settings are not res re retained. Um, so I went back to the C920, which is like the classic. And uh, the settings are saved on this one. So. Yeah, I think the image still looks fine. It's it's both they're both HD. So I will mulligan this hand because it seems bad. This seems good if we can. Yep, that's what I was looking for. That's what we wanted. All right. <clears throat> Maybe if we draw, if we don't play against Song of Frailies, we can win uh, our matches. Maybe. Fingers crossed. I know it's a bold proposition. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I could have enchanted the land on turn three. You're not wrong. This is probably a situation where we just trade with this guy. I don't really... I don't want to live the dream and hope we get an enchantment. I am Valiant. I still see Kermit there, so go and do this again. <laughs> oh, God. It's a battle. I accept it. Oh, Kermit's at 600. That's why. Oh, I see. You're just going to play this guy just normal, huh? Oh, 200. Okay, so now you're probably... There you go. There you go. Nailed it. I appreciate your commitment there. I would, I would probably never play this guy on four. Maybe I would, but God, it feels. That one's not as bad. It's not, but it's really good. Like they just get back Allosaur now. Yeah. And one other dude. Jesus. I guess we can get back fight with fire. Yes. 
Off to buy some weed cigarettes. See you, boys. <laughs> uh, they're called jazz cigarettes. Oh, that's good. They got rid of Blessed Light. What do you get back here? Sergeant at Arms, probably? That's a good dude. Well, there's no land in their graveyard, so they get no lands back. So they get Dinosaur. And Sergeant. Come on, man. You gotta pick. You gotta pick, man. What'd they get back? A steer glider? Interesting. Yeah, I guess it has flying, but. Bunch of bird boys. Oh, wow. All right. It's your bird boy. Oh, double first strike, huh? That's pretty good. It's probably just better to play Cyclops here. Oh, my God. Or it's Chronicler, and we can just play Cyclops with Fight with Fire on a future turn. And then he notices who's he's playing. <laughs> oh man, I know she changed your icon. Now you're a little monkey. Yeah, that's my little ragavan now. I opened that in a treasure chest and I was like, oh, I'm going to use that for sure. That's a little cutie. Um, How do I feel? What do I think about weed? I think it's fine. I think people, I think it should be legal. People should be able to smoke whenever they want, if they want to. Uh, I personally don't smoke, but I... I don't see a problem with it. I think alcohol is much more dangerous than marijuana. And that's been legal forever. So. Yeah, but what about Reefer Madness? I, 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 I hear your concerns about <laughs> Reefer Madness. I hear that. Um, I just don't care. Hmm. Hmm. How irresponsible. <laughs> You've wandered to my table at different tournaments to look at some neat but not quite there decks. <laughs> I just literally want lands for the rest of the game so I can play double fight with fire, but that doesn't seem to be happening here. Sure doesn't. You're a sure doesn't. Huh. Yeah, you didn't think about, think about that. that. Yeah, that's right. And you never will. Think about that. Hmm. This is where they go land, Allosaur, kill Cyclops. We have no profitable blocks. What's the real challenge? The moving? I can, I can imagine that's very true. Um... That is, a, that is a pretty sizable move. Ken Sugar, do you feel like because of the political climate, do you feel like that affects you at all? Um, like what with all the, all the stuff going on with, uh, you know, with politics right now, do you feel like as just a regular citizen that affects you at all? Because I'd be really curious to, to know that. I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to fight my friend with fire. See you later, dinosaur again. Put you in the dinosaur trash can. Because that's very special where trash you can. belong. You still trying to F him? I was thinking about it. I don't know if I have the cards for it, though. Hmm. I got, like... I didn't get much... I didn't get many of the cards yet. <sighs> All these sorceries, man. I guess we'll just play Candle here. You know take Candle, Michael. So they go attack, attack. We take, like... That's interesting to hear. I hit up audition. The ignorance is absurd. Yeah, I can imagine that. Um... Ch -ch 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 
Man, we can't even activate that candle. Daddy, where do dinosaurs go when they die? Uh, well, they go into the earth and then they reproduce. Uh, as as oil. fossil fuel. Yeah, they reproduce as oil. Reproduce? They re repurpose as oil? Yeah, that's fine. I'm an oil mic. Can you harness me? No. Yeah, I know. Just well, maybe to... I could, but I definitely don't want to. You will. One day. Uh -uh. Curator's Ward. Curator's Ward? Well. This is not good on its own right now. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm just going to pass here. Like, we have nothing to do. This is just stalemate city. I was excited. I thought that was like divination. I f yeah, it is. Uh, oh, actually, we could have put it on this. It's enchant permanent, so we could have actually given this hexproof, and then if it's a, if it's historic, when it leaves the battlefield, draw two cards. Yeah, but then we wouldn't have the activation up. So it's true, but I don't think we're at any risk for that yet. We have police government now, and it's scary. Yeah, that's that's the impression as an outsider. That's the impression you get, or uh, that, that's the impression I get anyway. I don't want to. I don't want to speak for anyone else, but um, I'll block you and block. What do you take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just assume you top decked a wild onslaught, so. Here we go. Gideon's Reproach. Now, where's my curator's ward? <laughs> Probably should have actually killed the glider. I don't know. I, I think this game is out of reach now. Our deck does not seem to be as good as I thought it was, which is unfortunate. This deck seemed sweet. All right, we're getting closer to death. <laughs> yeah, all right. We can actually kill two things, but then we can still go to two. Radiant Lightning seems great in this matchup. I'll bring that in. Uh, maybe we only want one Curator's Ward, actually. I think that might just be the trick. Curator's Ward doesn't do much on its own, unfortunately. Just like you, really. Wow. You're basically the Curator's Ward of real life. I'll accept that. Ugh. I'll accept that. Mm, yes, my name is Michael. Is it weird that you sound like that? I don't know, probably. Yeah, that is weird, because I don't sound like that. Uh, Yeah, but your voice in your head sounds different than how it sounds in real life. Yeah, but the, there's a thing where you can hear recordings of yourself these days, and I've heard that before. These days? So. <laughs> well, I've been my day. I was impressed by... Prim why don't you marry Premonition Field, Matthew Ori? Got him. Got him. He did. Hey, man, why aren't you representing? Should I put my heat in this sticker on? Yeah. Put it right in your pocket for the, square. For heatonist. Purveyors of fine hot sauces. Why aren't I... Well, because... That, uh, you say put it on my pocket square? Yeah. I don't think that makes any sense, man. Why? Because then it would be in my pocket. Oh, right. Pocket square is the thing that goes in it. Right. What did you think it was? I thought it was the pocket. <laughs> That's just called the pocket. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to add the square after that. They know what's going on. Uh, we do feel a little light on creatures, but I don't care. God, he doesn't even care. You pick the line, pick the new lineup of the hot ones. I have not yet. Uh, oh, has it? Has they? Have they revealed it yet? Season five just ended. I'm gonna look that up. Season four. Season five was in January. I don't think season six is out yet. Plus, there's there's our, there's a hot ones up that I haven't watched yet. Good lord, I will play first. Seems like Mulligan. Tell me when the Russian court tried to decline telegram complaint of a blocking, and they used some stupid reason that's a fault. Advocates of telegrams like really. <laughs> that seems like I. 
I mean, okay. So I, honestly, you're probably more used to it than I am because you just live, you just live there. Right. Like that's just, that's, that's your home. Like, but as an outsider, like as someone who doesn't, who doesn't live there, like it's, that stuff is scary. There's a mulligan. I, I, <laughs> what's he thinking about? I just mulligan I, the hand. I was like, oh, please don't keep. Mike, what's your favorite hot sauce? My favorite hot sauce? I really like Thai chili hot sauce. It's like the sweet and spicy, syrupy stuff. That's like, that's what they, that's what they call me. You can get it at Tijuana Flats, or you can just buy sweet chili sauce. That's easier. Um, so one of my favorite hot sauces is actually, it's like a Dottle Pepper hot sauce. They actually have it at, uh, the place called Firehouse Subs. I don't know if that's, um, I don't know if that's, that's a national chain or not, but that, uh, that, that's also, it's that's also just, it's just definitely a basic sweet hot sauce. It's very good. But as far, I think we're just playing this guy. I'm not going to wait till I have 7 million mana. But I also ordered, there's a uh, Bravado Hot Sauce Company makes a green apple and jalapeno sauce, and it is delicious. Have you tried that one that smelled like barbecue yet? No, I haven't tried that one, and uh, I haven't tried the other one, the other the Bronx one. You got two green sauces, man. Yeah. All right. Well, I think it's just Ogre. Um, he's a Cyclops. No, I was gonna. Oh, you're right. It is. Dang. He is a Cyclops. Wow, I thought that it was, was an Ogre. Species of you. Wow. Sorry, man. All all giant guys look the same to me. Apparently. I think it was the time we have real jail time for people who post pictures and close out when our social network's so big, but oh my god, dude, that's so scary. I'm so sorry. Like, wow, that's so. <laughs> I envy you for being able to laugh about it. Real, real talk. Like that's, like the the fact that you can just discuss it and like you know have a uh like it just seems scary to me. We're gonna keep on radiant lightning here. This guy's dead though, right? Oh no, he's just gonna. Also, I was talking, so I'm trying to defend. I'm like, I'm going to keep up Radiant Lightning. That's why I didn't equip. Really, really, I was just actually talking in the chat, so. To be fair, Cyclops might not be a race. It can just be a condition. <laughs> I think uh... it's both. Oh, look who it is. If it isn't Kermit the Frog. Are you going to play more creatures? If no, why not? All right, we're going to keep on getting in there. Pretty sure, dude, I was wondering about that. I hate being poor. <laughs> well, it hates you too, so. They're at the virtual one thanks to this radiant lightning. Oh, and we can just sack this. They're dead. They're dead. Wow, this is 7 extra damage. Wow, our deck's real Oh, we didn't get to do any of that stuff. That's real sad. Is it? No, I guess we won the game. Is it? My name is Michael. Is it? I had a couple of friends who helped the director of the documentary Icarus, and they had legit had to move out of the country for it. God, Lord, man. That's just scary, dude. It's Mr. Ice Chomper himself, the one and only legendary chip taster. Wow. That's a, that's a hell of a name. Is that your regal look? Yeah. Okay, I felt like it was good. <clears throat> I should have got some water. Go get some water. I've committed to no water. What? That doesn't make any sense.
trying to get I'm trying to get my friend Felipe, my our roommate Felipe works at Best Buy, so I'm like, hey, what's your price on on Air Duster? Wow, this hand does not look like our deck at all, but I'll keep it. Hey man, why don't I just use a leaf blower? <laughs> Do you have one? I could probably borrow one from my parents. Really? Take a PC outside. Yeah, get that, dude. I actually saw someone do that on Reddit. It actually kind of works. No, dude. It might be a little dangerous for your PC parts. It might be overkills. Can you say, not talk but... about my PC parts, bro? Uh, sure. My bad. Price check air duster. Wow. Mike, how long is your commitment to no water going to last? I, it's probably until the end of this round. It's probably going to last for another six minutes, and then it's over. I'll never drink water again. Okay. It's poisonous anyway. You're poisonous. Oh, well, fashion. Oh, my bad. We don't live in Flint, Michigan. We good. Dang. Too soon. Mm. You can tell it's too soon because it's still happening. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. We should just have Chem Sugar move in with us. Who? Chem Sugar from the chat. We, we got have, a shed outside he could live in. We have a whole. We had just had a whole conversation about the uh, politics in in Russia and America. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna block here. I'm gonna feel bad about things that are happening though. Yeah, this is a nice two, three, four drop here. This is like basically a three drop. Oh, 100% block here though, if that's what you want. We have a lot of changes to force paying more taxes. Yeah, that's not good. Gee, I wonder, wonder, wonder where that money goes. My dad. I don't think that. My dad. Okay. <laughs> Well, if you say it twice, it's got to be true. I'm going to resub when I can afford it. Just like, yeah, man. Just like, yeah, man. Being poor does hate me, but finding work has been a challenge. Being poor does hate you? What does that even mean? It seems like it enjoys you, right? Finding work is like a whole job in itself. Your mom's a whole job in herself. Huh. Yeah. You didn't think about that, did you, smart guy? Speaking of jobs, I got another job offer. Really? It's kind of exciting. Really? Um, the... That place, FIS, the place where I went for that, like, sweet job that I tried to get. Ooh, a sweet job. They reached out again now for 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 their fraud team. Interesting. So, so I'm probably going to give them a call on Monday and see see what that's all about. Did they give you any details? Any deets? No, he just, like, left me a message. He's like, hey, so got your resume. Really interested. Uh, give us a call back. We'd like to pay you $76,000 a year. Uh, you get to work from home, <laughs> and we're going to give you a free <laughs> Tesla. Oh, but here's Tesla. the problem. We're going to send you a check for $900,000 <laughs> and you have to deposit it and uh, then just give it to someone else. Oh, well, that seems strange, but I suppose. No harm, no foul. Yeah, I suppose that's fine. I just want to play lands every turn because of fight with fire. We'll put this on you. Now you got a, now you got a big boy, a solid gentleman here. Mike, are you sure they just didn't call you up and call you a fraud? Wow. That might have been be rude. That might have been more likely. I could have misinterpreted. Mike Lapore fraud. That's not his name. <laughs> Alright, maybe that's his name. We'll never tell. Oh god, this thing is getting huge. No, humongous. I'll tell. It's not. There you go. Huh. I appreciate your honesty. Get in there with your tiny little bird man. Oh, the old double attack, huh? So if we block here, you can deal... F three, four, five, six. Yeah, we gotta block with both these. If we block with this and this, then they get to kill both of them. I'll just trade either a Cyclops or a Champion. Oh, you're getting rid of the Champion. Secret. Uh, that was a that was a reference to Mike being my son, not my not not some sort of significant other. Yeah, Just dude, to that's be incest. clear, don't be weird. And Putin talks a lot about our missiles and attacks. Someone, yeah, the, <laughs> you know, someone, a anyone. 
eh, who knows? Who knows where they can go? They can go anywhere. I've never felt like the world, like the world in general, has been this close to like war, like actual war in my lifetime. Like never. Whether it's Iran, the US, North Korea, Russia, like they uh, this seems like the like the worst the verge. I mean there's basically been a war going on my entire life, so You mean like an internal like emotional struggle for you? No, no, that's not what I meant. Oh. I meant like cuz we're in the Middle East still and it's been like forever. There's been a war going on inside me my whole life. <laughs> Michael Bartholomew, 2017, 2018. I don't know what year it is. But I think it's never going to happen because a lot of the relatives are going to be guys living worse. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Like, also, it doesn't feel like there's a real reason for it right now. Like, it, it I don't know. It all feels like posturing. It's a bunch of dudes who all want to outdo each other. That's what it feels like. Yeah, to be fair, North Korea has been, has been better lately, which is surprising, but... Uh, I was not alive in the 70s, and I was too young to, to, to really feel like any of the effects of the Cold War in the 80s. You didn't learn the duck and cover? You're a duck and smother. Hmm. You didn't think about that, did you, smart guy? I didn't think about it. No, I didn't. I feel like we just have to play this guy. You should be whimpering. I just took you, boy. If we draw one fight with fire, it's gonna be enough. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Is this what you want, pets? Hmm? Like I just want Chronicle out there because like oh, oh. we have three blockers, they have three guys. So at the very least, we're taking one, two, three, four, five, which puts us to two. Which means if they get any trick, uh, we're dead. So. Hey. Hunter, you're knocking things over with the booper. Yeah, he's really you're killing the green screen here. I'm fixing it. Well, yeah, that was not what we wanted to see, unfortunately. Fight with fire one time, please. This deck was looking great. I really like the idea of this deck, but I feel like it's not coming through an execution one time. Frenzied Rage. That will not do it. Actually, now we have four blockers. One, two, three, four, and we die to whatever you play. All right, cool. Yep. Next card's going to be Fight with Fire. Deep freeze, that'll do. And two cards away. My bad. My bad, Magic Online. Two cards away. What would we have done with five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could have literally killed their whole board. So. Yep, good games. Oh. Gotta love it. This is going well. It's not. It's not actually going well at all. It's actually going terrible. I feel like we're running a new historical period from mono, monopolar world US to the West to Soul Superpower and one of the Cold War to a multipolar world to several big players. Yeah, it's but when someone missed in time for the for this instead of fighting corruption and trying to change it, it, it is just sad. I agree with you, and I think there's a lot of that going on going around. I didn't laugh at you and make fun of you. What I did was your wording. You said being poor doesn't 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 like you, and I was like, it seems like it does, which is why it's there, right? I don't know. Look, sh how about you just shut up, pernicious dude? You ever think about that? Hmm. I don't know if it's a deck to the draws, actually. We probably should have taken out one Curator's Ward. We've been chatting it up, though. So we forgot to do that. This hand is great if we actually hit lands, but... It's a little risky. It's real risky. We have to hit two lands and three cards. For, it to, for us to be able to play anything. It's so good if we do hit, though. I'm 1-2, man. I got nothing to lose. I'm just a man with nothing to lose. Well, it's it's still okay for now. <laughs> nope. Hmm. 
Well, you can play a candle. So at least you do something you can play. Thank goodness. Thank you. Biovisionary with the gifted sub to the poor pernicious dude. And this is how we do when we don't hit lands in magicthegathering.com.net.edu. Sure, take my Valduck, please. Is it better a suboptimal counterspell in a best of one format or just use cancel? What does that mean? So what's that like suboptimal counterspell? Deprive? What is five? Isn't cancel a suboptimal counterspell? Yeah, I would think cancel is pretty suboptimal. That seems like the most suboptimal thing I've ever heard of. You ready? Did it. Never didn't have it, Michael. Never didn't have it. Except for last turn. Then the turn before that, but never didn't before that. Wow, that's actually super close to China. I had no idea that that... Oh, yeah, no, I guess... I guess... Yeah, I guess... I think I underestimate how huge Russia is. It's the country it's, with the most land mass on Earth. It's actually... Yeah, it's actually insanely large. Look at the size of that. That's unbelievable. Canada is also surprisingly large. Yeah, but, like, when you look, it's like... You're like... But you can feel like Russia, four no. Canadas in there. Oh boy. To be fair, a lot of Russia is just like snowy snowy parts where no one lives, but Don't talk about my snowy parts, Michael. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's rude. Chemistry, do you feel like there's different parts uh that are affected differently by the politics? Like Kaliningrad, is it nice? Is it like a because I know there's got to be, like, just like the U.S., there's, like, there's parts that are affected more by political policies and the f parts that are affected less, you know? <clears throat> that seems that seems super obvious, right? Like, it seems like there has to be, right? But, you know, I don't know the, I don't know the ins and outs of the politics in, uh, you know, in Russia versus, versus the U.S., so it's hard to... All right, here we go. Gonna make a dude. You could fit two Canada's in Russia at best. Really? You don't think so? You don't think you could fit three in there? You know I have this. So let's see what you can have. Is it nothing? Is the answer nothing? Do we just... I'll just walk into a Gideon's reproach. That's fine. Just reproach me, bro. The upside of them not having reproach is so high. They didn't. Hooray. They didn't. Oh, if we equip this lance, we're making two three ones? My god. Oh, it works for equipment too? Oh yeah, it works for equipment and auras. And we can play... Or we can put this... Oh, I keep thinking this is the frenzied rage. Oh my god, this is going to be a beating. Oh, they tapped incorrectly because they could have played the Dauntless guy. That's not good. Unless you want to divest again. My name is Jeff. This dude is getting swole. Two elementals. For the price of one. For the price of none. Got him. 17.1 million kilometers uh, for Russia, 9.9 .9 for Canada. Interesting. That's still a lot, dude. How many million kilometers for U.S.? I'd be curious to know that. Is 
How many U.S.s can we fit in, in Russia? That would be insane to know. It's got to be like four. That has to be like three and a half. I'm going to say three and a half. U.S. is 9.5? So two. Okay. Well, less than two. Man. This is what I think about Russia. Damn, boy. He's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. Real thick. That clip is always funny. I'm surprised Canada and the U.S. are that close in check size. Out, check out Australia. What's that look like? This does not look correct, though. This looks infinitely smaller than this, right? Well, because you also got to include Alaska, though. Oh, that's true, dude. Alaska is huge. Alaska totally skews that. How about the continental U.S.? Or the contiguous U.S., rather. How about that? Because that seems like it's significantly... Oh, I guess they died. I didn't know what happened. I was just... I was watching Yargle and Dauntless, and then they died. And then they died. Um, How many Rhode Island can we fit in Russia? Oh, God. Like a hundred? <laughs> a thousand. It's probably way over 100. Come for the soundboard, stay for Mike B. Oh, and Magic, I guess. Man, I'm not even on the radar. The U.S. is only measured in square miles. There's no way to translate that to metric. They literally won't let you translate it to metric. That's how they do. I say they. I wonder if my subconscious use of they uh, is is representative of my... <clears throat> You know, my emotional removal from the U.S. and how I don't feel like it really represents me very well. I don't know. Getting real philosophical here, guys. Shut yeah, up. I'm under that, that totem pole as well. I just think pride of your country is just kind of meh. It's like whatever. I think there's definitely countries. I Like if I lived in... I don't want to get into this. This is going to be weird. Like if you lived in Durka Durkistan. We're getting un we're getting unintentionally political and I don't want to do it. It's just a bad it's a bad road to go down. Um I want to take out one curator's word. I always forget to do that. Alaska's a thick landy boy. True. Dude, Alaska's the thickest landy boy. I'm just gonna bring in Ray Lightning. Ray Lightning seemed like a good three thousand one hundred and forty four Rhode Islands. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh my god, that's insane, dude. So what would it be? It would be 17.1 uh, million divided by 3144. Yeah, 5400 Rhode Islands can fit in Rhode <laughs> That's insane, dude. I'll keep this hand. Wow, that's ridiculous. Oh yeah, I knew this about the maps. The um, yeah, the Merc yeah, the Merc the Mercator rap is is completely skewed, uh, to make things look more uh, preferable towards certain areas. Yeah, I, I have seen this. Do you know about this? No, I didn't know that. How the actual world looks more like this. Oh, interesting. And like, look how big Africa is compared to the U.S. here. But then you look at it normally and you're like, oh, it's cool. It's clearly, you know, it's very similar in size. But really, no, it's not really even close. Isn't Rhode Island just one street, a couple of houses and a corner store? Maybe. Pretty much. It's hard to say. The corner store is always Dunkin' Donuts as well that's and it's on every corner that's also true oh we got got old duck duck arena all right now we need an now who do you put the enchantment on hmm. oh this guy yeah probably the guy that makes more guys the boy that makes more fiery boys boom no blocks. I tend to just blink this guy. I guess we could fight him with fire. Yeah, that seems better. I 
Yeah, I went to, went to GP Providence and it was held in the back of the corner store. And I had to go to the bathroom in one of the houses because the store didn't have plumbing. Wow. The boy that makes more fiery boys? Firefly. Is that the show? With the guy? I've never seen all of that show. But I have seen I haven't movie. either. I've seen the movie. New law. Kansas cops can't have sex during traffic stops. Huh. That's a new law? Wonder why you need that law on the books. I thought that would have been given. Wow. A new Kansas law makes it a crime for police to have sex with people they pull over for traffic violations or detain in criminal investigations. Wow. Thank goodness. Oh, boy. Took a couple hundred years, but they got there. 2018, you are friggin' weird. I'm just attacking with old Valduck. Glad they fixed that. Shit was cray. <laughs> oh, Kansas. Yeah, I'll trade it this whisper. That's fine. I don't see Little this. Little in fact, Kansas actually doesn't exist. You don't exist. Got him. Dang it. Got him real good. I've never met anyone from Kansas. Kansas doesn't exist. I felt that wrong. way about Mississippi recently. I was like, you know, I've never met someone or heard about someone living in Mississippi. Kansas and Mississippi don't exist. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Change my mind. Oh. oh, yeah, it's changed my mind. Yeah, right. you don't even know how the meme works. The meme right. Unbelievable. Hey, man, what's your favorite legend in this set? In this set? Yeah, man. I had to look at him. <laughs> just, you, know, you just say it. You don't have to look. I don't know why you like this. I had to look because I don't know him that well. Tell me your favorite legend, Michael. I don't know. Michael, I want to hear it. I want to know. Can you show me? No. Oh, no, no. Can you show me? Oh, I like the graveyard guy. Moldrotha. Oh, I got actually drafted one of those. Those draggy. Look. Look at this. Yeah. The Grave Tide. That's actually, he's got grave in his name. Soul Salvage? What did you get back? Whisper and Thal and Omnivore? That was pretty good. That ain't. That's mediocre, I guess. I would like a land here. Can I... Can I borrow a feeling? I worked with a guy named Elion, Alien who spoke zero English and said he was from Mississippi. I didn't believe... Yeah, I would, have, I would have my doubts as well. I would be a little suspicious here. Mike, do you play Magic? Well... I do participate in a lot of magic streams, so I'll let you be the judge of whether I play magic or not. Wow, that was, you're like a politician. Spoiler, the answer is yes. Is it? Yeah. I don't say, okay, I don't play a lot is of magic. It? I play magic occasionally. Occasional magic. Mostly of the commander variety. Occasional commander magic. Why are we whispering? Uh, I'm, you're not, I am. Joke's on you, yes I am. Dang it, he's right. He Got started him. whispering after I did. Can confirm certain parts of Mississippi don't speak English. The whole history of America is really interesting. Speak that Creole, boy. Because it's funny, like, it's... You know, it's it's something that 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 makes total sense once you once you realize it. But when I moved when I moved to Seattle, uh, everyone there was Asian restaurants everywhere, and there was a lot of Asian and, and Indian people. And the reason being, you know, the west coast of the U.S. is near the Pacific Ocean, which is near you know the Asian countries. Uh, whereas on the east coast of the U.S., you have a lot of Italians and other 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 nationalities that are closer to Europe. So it's so funny that like you can actually see how the demographics, you know. Uh, immigrated to the country and where they've, you know, put their, put their, their feet down. Is that, is that what I want to say? <laughs> put their roots down. It's all about boat rides. It is all about boat rides. <laughs> United States. It's all about boat rides. Okay, sure. But Indian people are Asian, right. But you're, you're um, you, you get what I'm saying. Um, you don't, I, I, mm, we're done. Not, not walking into that. Not walking into that. Better be careful. The demonetized police will come up in here. 
If you were known as the Blank Whisper, what would it be? Like what? Like a like a Zoy superhero name? The Blank Whisper. I guess it wouldn't be blank. From MRSA to ASMR. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. So I can actually just put this lance on this guy and they'll have to block. And I got the first strike. But it is a 4-3, so they would just trade here. That's sad. I guess I could put it on you. And this guy gets trample, trample McMamples, trampy mampies. The biggest Chinatown town in the U.S. is in San Francisco. We've been the first thought. Yeah, I mean that makes it makes total sense, but it's something you don't think about. And it's funny because once you start thinking about it, you're like, oh, I can totally see how this happened, like how this immigration happened, like how, uh, you know, how these cities became, you know, home to people. It's interesting. It's fascinating. Is that why the San Francisco treat is rice? Huh. Oh, interesting. I get to kill both these both these boys. That's a good trade. I can't imagine that works out in the long run, but Oh, why no alpha? Because I didn't want them to gain life. I don't know. Alpha, I wasn't thinking about it. Would we have won that if we alphaed? I don't know. Like, they can just go 3-3 three, three on 4-3 three here. So they go up to 7, and then they take 4? So they would actually we go lose to... lose one, but we also lose another guy, so... Yeah, and I'd rather just be able to protect this guy with Jousting Lance. Once we get the first striker off the board, our attacks are a lot better, so... Mike wants to know... And you show him. This guy attacks for six. We're at 15. All right, that's fine. Thank you. Grouch 86, five months in a row. My monthly pizza contribution. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You're no grouch. Get a job, grouch. That's from the Chappelle show. Remember that? Okay, good talk. You know what else is pretty fun? Magic the Gathering Online draft. Did you just make a weird breath sound? That was your I response? I did make a weird breath sound, yes. Huh. Well, you know, man, whatever. Uh... I'm just going to cast this guy. You know, whatever. whatever. <sighs> I can't. I just can't. <laughs> I can't deal with you when you're like this. Nor do I want to. Yeah. Think oh, about you that. have to. No, I don't have to do anything. Oh, that's a good one. That's a fat boy. We're so close. Can't you shoot their face? No, you can't target. You can only deal with creatures unless you kick it. Huh. Whatever, I'll kill the Sarah Angel. Send me a Sarah Angel. Did you do it right? Should kill them, right? Oh, um, not quite. Good games, but you're not dead yet. Oh, I'm not dead yet. And you just block the six with the three, and then you. Are they dead? Actually, they four. can block the three through with the four four. They go to four. They take two. They can go to two technically. They block here and block here. All right. Either way, the old one, the old 2-0. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, not all drafts are created equally, unfortunately, but we're still going to play it out. We're still going to see what happens. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. The link's in the description. Merch in bio. Uh, there's no merch, but I'll see you guys but next time. But there will time. be. There might be eventually, actually. I did get approved by merch by Amazon, so we'll see. I'll see you next time.